If you want to render files in Final Cut Pro, watch this video. It's a good one. Rendering is a piece of cake, and I'll share four tips, including how to set up automatic renders. Stick around for the end, and I'll show you how to save hundreds of gigabytes on your hard drive. So in Final Cut Pro, rendering is different from exporting or sharing a video. Exporting and sharing a video is saving your video when you're all done to share on YouTube or to send to your friends or to the movie theater. Rendering is creating files that Final Cut Pro uses to make your playback or editing smooth and seamless. So if you're looking to export or share your video, then check out the video I linked to in the description below or at the end of this video and I show you how to do that. To render files in Final Cut Pro, you can first select one by clicking on it or several clips by holding down shift and clicking on them and then go up to modify and select render selection or press control R. And you'll notice that these dots above the timeline are going away. Dots in the top of the timeline mean it hasn't been rendered yet. There we go, they're all gone. And you'll see over here where we didn't select has not been rendered yet. If I want to render the whole project, I just go up to modify and select render all or press control shift R and it will render it. Okay, I'm gonna render this again, but first I wanna open up the background tasks. So I'll click on this button right up here or press command nine to open it up. This shows me the background tasks that are happening. You see we have this render section here. All right, so let's render this project. I'm gonna press control shift R and you'll see it right here. I'll press pause and you'll see if I click this arrow that it's doing a background render and I paused it at 30%. I can cancel that render by pressing this X or I can continue it by pressing this play button and you'll notice the dots at the top of the timeline start to disappear as the render files are created. All right, it's done. And you'll see no dots in the project anymore. It's fully rendered. Don't you just love how simple it is to render files in Final Cut Pro? If I'm making sense and I'm doing a good job and I'm helping you out, will you please let me know with a thumbs up Thank you. In a second, I'm gonna show you how to delete those render files when they start taking up too much space on your hard drive. But first, I wanna show you how to set up automatic renderings. In Final Cut Pro, press Command, Comma to open up the preferences, and then go to the Playback tab. At the top, you'll see this rendering option. I can turn on Background Render. What that does is Final Cut Pro will automatically start creating render files of your project when you take little breaks. So if your mouse stops moving and you stop editing, Final Cut Pro will take that time and create render files. That way you have smooth playback because Final Cut is continuously updating those render files. So you can enable it and then you can tell it when to start. By default, it's like 0.3 seconds, but for this, I'm gonna do three seconds and then I'll press close. You'll notice that my project has these render dots at the top. You'll notice that it's not creating render files because I'm selecting clips, I'm editing things, I'm moving it around, I'm changing volume. But as soon as I stop moving, give it three seconds and you'll notice that the render dots start to disappear at the top of the timeline. There it goes. And just like that, our render files are created automatically while I took a break. Render files are really helpful, but if left uncontrolled, they can get out of hand and they become really big and they take up space on your hard drive and then it slows down your computer. So there's a couple things you can do to manage those render files. First, let's delete a clip render file. So in the browser or in the timeline, I can select a clip. I'll select this airplane clip and then I'll go up to file and I'll select delete generated clip files. I'll select delete render files and then click OK. Now Final Cut Pro will delete those files, freeing up a little bit of space. But typically doing one clip at a time, it doesn't move the needle much and it takes a long time. So you can select a project and then go up to file and then select delete generated project files. And we'll select render files. I haven't made optimizer proxy media, so I'll leave it unchecked and then I'll click OK. And you'll notice that the render files have been deleted and now we've got our render dots back at the top of the timeline. I can also select an event and delete all the render files for all the clips and projects in that event. So I'll go up to file and then select delete generated event files. And then I can select delete render files and I can select only delete the unused render files or I can select all of them and then click OK. And then even further, I can delete all the render files in the library. So that will delete render files for all clips, projects and events within the library. I'll select the library. And before we delete that, I wanna look at it in the inspector. I'll click on this button with the three sliders here or press command four to open it up. And you'll see my library size right now is about 23 gigabytes. If I go up to file and then select delete generated library files, I'll select delete render files. I'm gonna select all and then I'm gonna press okay. Final Cut Pro will do its thing. It will delete files. And now you'll see our library size drop by about a gigabyte. That's not a lot, but I have seen it reduce it by 
hundreds of gigabytes before, and people have reported back to me saying they saved so much space by deleting render files. If your computer starts slowing down and you're doing a lot of editing, it might be render files slowing you down. So try deleting them. You can also change where your render files are stored. So if you have a hard drive that's filling up really quickly, you can save your render files on a different drive. Select your library, and then in the inspector, click on Modify Settings. And then where it says Cache, click on In Library and choose a new location. You can choose a new folder on your computer, or you can even choose a different hard drive. So here's an external hard drive I have, and then I can select a folder in here. We'll go into Final Cut Libraries and select Choose. And then I'll click OK. And it asks, do I want to move my render files? I'll say yes, include those and move them. And now my render files are on a hard drive and they're not taking up space on the same hard drive where I'm editing and I have my operating system on. So if you just want to know how to export a video from Final Cut Pro, then check out this video I made. I include a sneaky shortcut for fast exports.